Now, in this video, we will see the problem of CG for composite solid, which is a combination of cylinder and sphere. Let's read what is given here. Find the CG for a combination of solid sphere and cylinder. Solid sphere is 180 mm in diameter is placed on top of cylinder. It means we are placing sphere over the cylinder which is also 180 mm in diameter and 400 mm high such that their vertical axis coincide. Whatever is given here I will draw the, di the diagram based on that. So this is the arrangement where we have cylinder and on to top of that we have a sphere. Find the CG for a combination of solid sphere and cylinder. Solid sphere is 180 mm in diameter, the diameter of the sphere, 180 mm, is placed on top of cylinder which is also 180 mm in diameter. The diameter of the cylinder is also same, 180 mm and 400 mm high, height of the cylinder is given. such that their vertical axis coincide. So it is given that the vertical axis are coinciding. Now I will place this composite solid on an axis system. Now we need to find the CG. CG means location and location is X bar and Y bar. So x bar y bar are the unknowns. Once we know x bar y bar, the problem gets solved. So here, as we see this composite solid, it is clear from the diagram that it is symmetric about y axis. And whenever it is symmetric about y axis, CG will lie on y axis. And we need to know this distance. So this distance of the y axis will be half of 80, 180 mm. And that will be nothing but x bar. So x bar we are getting directly here. So solution, since the given composite solid is symmetric about y axis, therefore CG will lie on y axis. And hence we can say x bar is equal to half of 180 x bar is 90 mm our first answer. So the first part is over that is x bar. Next for y bar I will say cylinder is the first solid sphere is the second solid. So I'll write down now. Cylinder is having the diameter of 180 mm. Height is 400 mm. Since V1 volume of the cylinder, it is pi r square h. So it is equal to pi into radius the diameter is 180 so radius will be 90 square into height is 400 so v1 is 10.18 the answer which i have into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 mm cube it will be mm cube because it is volume after getting V1, I will get Y1. We know that for the cylinder, CG will lie at half of the height. And here cylinder is kept on the axis. It is at the origin. So exactly half of this. So here I have Y1 which will be 400 by 2. Y1 indicates the X axis for the first solid. This is the cylinder. Next, I will take the sphere. 
diameter is 180 mm sphere is the second solid for us i'll say that since v2 it is 4 by 3 pi r cube the formula of volume for a sphere which is equal to 4 by 3 into pi radius will be half of diameter diameter is 180 so radius becomes 90 therefore v2 value it will be 3.05 into 10 raised to power 6 mm cube v2 is also known now we need to get the x axis for the sphere and that will be 400 plus the radius because cg for the cylinder for the sphere it will be at the center so it is 400 plus the radius which is 90 so y2 is 490 mm next i can say that therefore y bar will be v1 y1 plus v2 y2 upon v1 plus v2 therefore v1 value 10.18 into 10 raised to 6 into y1 200 plus v2 3.05 into 10 raised to 6 into y2 490 divided by v1 plus v2 so y bar is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 upon v1 plus v2 we have put all the values of v1 y1 v2 y2 and v1 plus v2 if i calculate numerator by denominator my answer is 266.92 mm that is my second answer so if we see in this problem they were telling us to calculate the center of gravity for the composite section and we have calculated x bar and y bar values now i will be showing it on the diagram we have a composite figure of sphere and cylinder so this was the composite figure given x bar we have calculated or ideally it was exactly passing through the half of this section so the y axis is located at x bar is equal to 90 mm and y bar we have just calculated it is 266.92 so up to this height the height of the cylinder this is 400 400 mm and here the sphere is having radius of 90 mm so we are getting y bar as 266 means it is just above half of this that is half of the height of the cylinder it is just above that so this is y bar and where y axis and x axis they intersect that gives us the center of gravity so here we are getting the cg for the composite section which they have given in the problem and with this we complete this question